Good morning, folks. Several top science items to hit as always. STO satellite here had a calibration roll, which is why it's jostling. We'll hit the sun, weather, seismicity, and two fantastic articles on climate, volcanoes, and the geomagnetic field. But we start with our star. Saw several plasma surges in the corona, but not a lot happening in terms of eruptive activity. Still have sunspots and plasma filaments, but most remain relatively stable. You may recall we've been waiting for a potentially odd CME impact in the solar wind, and thus far we don't have much more to suggest it has arrived. NOAA and NASA still forecast that to happen today, so we'll have eyes open, but are expecting more of a data oddity than any kind of scary geomagnetic storms. We'll keep an eye on all of this, of course, and for aesthetics, I'm keeping an eye on the plasma tornado on the sun's northern polar crown, standing several Earths tall, dancing up through the corona. Moving on to seismicity, saw a weird one off the U.S. east coast. Not an area hit by too many quakes there, considerably unusual for the region. That bad weather we had discussed being on deck dropped several tornadoes in the center of the country. Oklahoma was particularly hard hit in the evening and overnight hours. It's expected to continue today, slightly to the east. Good paper here on external volcanic forcing. They show that volcanic eruptions have cycles that match the solar cycle. Not only that, but the impact of planetary orbits on those cycles. Kind of a two for one there, and it adds to the handful of other papers we've seen on how space energy impacts not only the atmosphere, but the volcanic activity from below as well. Lastly, a great concept somewhat in disguise. They notice that both the climate and Earth's magnetic field have 100,000 year cycles. Now they try to speculate on orbital forcing and how the climate shifts may impact the geomagnetic field, but literally everything else we know about these interactions suggests they've got it backwards and that the geomagnetic field changes have the climate impact. It's worth noting that if that is the case, this is the first and best yet evidence of the magnetic field being tied to those even longer Earth cycles of glaciation and deglaciation. We greatly appreciate your support. Please check out the links below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.